get to our next lodge, we took a two and a half hour boat ride that drove us down 140 kilometers of the river to arrive at the Kinabatangan Wetland Resort. We hadn't even made it to the lodge yet before we got a taste of what animals we might be seeing later on. Soon after we settled in and had lunch at the lodge, we set out for a late afternoon cruise down the river to see some of the diverse wildlife, but not before we were treated to seeing a family of Bornean bearded pigs. The first thing we saw on the cruise was a mangrove snake that had incredibly striking yellow and black markings but unfortunately it was difficult to see the head from where we were on the boat. Macaques are a very common sight down the river and everywhere in Asia for that matter. They have a very playful nature and aren't afraid to sit on the riverbanks as the boats go past. What we saw next came much earlier in our journey than we expected and was a breathtaking sight. Orangutans only live on the islands of Borneo and Sumatra and their habitat is quickly disappearing, so to have our first sighting of these creatures in the wild was spectacular. Orangutans spend around 80% of their lives in trees, where they forage for food and build resting nests out of leaves and branches. They have little need to come down to the ground, so have adapted to treetop life by having feet designed much like hands for climbing, flexible hips for holding onto any direction and long arms for reaching to nearby branches and fruit. So this is the young male orangutan, yeah? So, how can I say the young male orangutan so you can see the face? This proboscis monkey also decided to say hello.
As the night pulled in, we went on a walk through the lodge, where we got to see a Bornean flying squirrel and a Malaysian forest scorpion. The next day we got up bright and early at 6 o'clock to go on a morning boat cruise. We saw the bearded pig family from yesterday that seemed to have made their home in the lodge. Residents at the Kinibatangan River catch fish and crabs from the water using a fish trap. Sometimes the macaques just get there first. Macaques are labelled as least concern on the conservation status chart, so it is no surprise that they were our most common sight along the river. There were some baby crocodiles swimming around the shores too. And some bigger ones as well. As we travelled further down the river, we came across another macaque family that seemed to have recently had some new members join them. But just like all primates, macaques aren't always calm. Studies have shown similarities between humans and macaque groups and how they interact. They can get into serious fights relating to dominance and leadership over food or a female. We were about to get ourselves right in the middle of a fight between two males. One of them had lunged at the other, causing him to slip and cling onto the branch before being pushed off and falling to the ground. All goes quiet, but the fight will not be over until they reconceal. Finally, the fight is over and peace is restored in the group. After relaxing and having dinner back at the lodge, for our last night at the resort we went for a night boat trip to see what new wildlife we could find. Not long after setting out, the guide spotted what appeared to be a blue-eared kingfisher which stood perfectly still for us all to admire its beauty. The guide also tracked down some crocodiles which look even more menacing at night. This concluded our time at the Kinabatangan River and tomorrow we were moving on to somewhere new.